Well, I'm back. Okay, let's see what we got here. Phenobarbital, the order is 75 milligrams. You should have done these exactly like I'm doing them here. If you didn't, you're putting yourself in danger. Because if you do them just the way I say, you're going to get the right answer. If you don't get the right answer, it's because you didn't do it exactly like I said. And that's going to be your fault. Okay, the order, 75 milligrams. I put that over the number one to make it into a fraction. I now multiply by my second fraction. In fact, you should put the X, put the line. Once the line is there, now put the numbers in place. The numbers, of course, are how strong is the stuff I've got. I've got some 20 milligrams of that stuff in every five milliliters. So from bottom to top, I've got how strong is my stuff? I have 20 milligrams in every five milliliters. Now the things to be watching out for. Are these the same words, the same symbols? Yeah. Milligrams. Now, if one was, let's say, grams and one milligrams, I must convert one into the other one. But these are both the same, so I now cancel out. Cancel this with this. Oh, but how many non-one numbers are there? There are three of them there, suckers. One, two up here, and one down here. So what's my math? 75 times 5. You multiply the two top numbers, then you divide by the bottom number. Well, let's see what that is. I'm sure you could all do that in your head, of course, yes, but uh, in case you can't, which I can't, <clears throat> 75 times five, then I divide that one by 20. And the answer, whoa, it says 18.75. Now let's see about this, 18.75 what? Well, whatever's left, milliliters. Let's go back to our rounding off rule. Let me refresh your memory. If the answer is more than one, which of course that is, how far do you round off? To tenths. Ah, but wait. Sounds like some silly commercial on TV. But wait, if you order today, okay, you gotta know what the next number is. Although we're stopping it right there, since the next number, in this case, is five, if the next number is five or more, this becomes the next higher number. So we must make this into an eight. So the final answer, rounded off correctly, is 18.8. Some potential mistakes. What if you just said 18.7? Well, you drop that, that's to tenths, yes, but you're supposed to make this the next higher number. What if you said 18.75? Well, just do the proper rounding off rules. So more than one, which this is, round off to tenths, one decimal place. If it's less than one, which of course this is not, but if it were, if it's less than one, you round off to hundredths, two places. Keep those in mind and always use those rules. Well, what about this one? Imipramine, gotta say it, 50 milligrams, POQ12H, whatever that means. So I'm gonna give 50 milligrams. 50 milligrams. Now here's what I see people doing wrong. They think, oh, I can do this in my head. Hey, hey, 25 is half of 50, right? I give a half a tablet. No, you don't do that. Don't, don't do it that way. Why not? What's wrong with that? Well, because don't just say, oh, that's half of this. Mm -mm, because of where they are. Set it up and do it right. The 50 milligrams goes over one. The dosage strength, of course, is over here, going backwards, bottom to top. I have 25 milligrams in every one tablet. And both of these are the same. I can cancel those. Well, see here, 50 divided by 25. That's two, not half. So don't, unless you're a mathematical genius or you do these thousands of them, thousands, you get the hang of this, be real careful doing that in your head. Now, eventually you'll be able to do so, but just be very cautious now about doing this in your head. Oh, it's not one half, it's two. The answer is two tablets because it's 50 divided by 25. What about that zero thing? Well, there's only one zero. There's no zero down here to cancel out. 
get used to doing the zero canceling thing, but understand how to do it, when to do it, when you can't, how to, and all the kind of good stuff.